Welcome back to IPCPR 2017. I'm Trip with Cigar Federation here with Pete Johnson of Tetuaje. Hi guys. Uh, you've got a couple things to talk about. First, let's talk about this new monster, the Michael. Uh, Michael. Michael, uh, essentially for Michael Myers. Of course. Uh, tenth monster in the lineup. Actually, technically, it's the twelfth monster because I'm I'm including Chuck and Tiff, but they're going to yeah. be called number eleven and number twelve. Uh, six and a half by fifty-two, uh, Havana Ecuador wrapper, Nicaraguan binders, and Nicaraguan fillers. Um, I call it the silent killer. Yeah, um, it's it, it creeps up on you for sure. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of fitting for Michael. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you're you're back with the lighters. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, LA Blue. Yeah. Uh, the people who uh, made the Dupont lighters with me years ago. Uh, um, the distribution went to Davidoff for da- for Dupont, mm-hmm. so they hooked up with LA Blue and they started making okay. a whole lighter series for LA Blue, and they designed that. Um, really happy with it. It's a flat flame torch. Uh, LA Blue is actually selling it. Um, I think it's like two sixty something for the lighter, sure. uh, but beautiful. Really like thrilled to be working with them. So yeah, that's exciting. And you've got the uh, the new negotiant size. Yeah, Negotiant number four. Um, similar size to the pork chop, which is a four and oh. one eighth by 46. Yep. A uh, little short guy, but tons of flavor. I actually had to tweak the blend to make it fit in that size because uh, one of the binders, which is San Andreas, was a little aggressive in the same priming, so mm-hmm. I you know, took it down a little bit just to make sure it still had that spice still had that earthiness yeah. but didn't speak purely san andreas <laughs> yeah it was like aggressive yeah um real happy about that though uh probably one of the, my most received releases in a long time wow yeah and then of course uh a new surrogate yeah what's that i haven't walked around the booth much so i didn't see it it's uh called seventh sam a uh, buddy of ours in the industry um who is really into the Japanese culture, wanted us to uh, kind of do a surrogate based on his play towards thing. Okay. So it has a little kanji symbol that looks like a small T, which is funny, little yeah. double meaning there. Um, but it's seven, and uh, it's uh, kind of a good-sized perfecto, like a mini Salomon. It's uh, six and three-quarters by... 48 to 52 on the taper. Okay. Same same mold as the Avion 11, but just in oh, the okay. round. Yeah, not uh, box pressed. Yeah, just not box pressed, but it, it's got seven different tobaccos in it. Wow. So it's a complicated blend. Um, probably the most complicated blend we do, but we had to do it because it just made sense. Since it was the seventh surrogate, yeah. can we really do this? And it worked, so. Nice. And then I think, did I miss anything besides the needles? Ah, yeah, the needles, uh, tattoo needles. Um, I'm gonna rage on those. Yeah, they're they're fun, man. They they, they actually have a little puma head to them. <laughs> um, I wanted to, you know, I, I wanted to always have something in the tattoo line that kind of um, was in the same vein as what the atelier guys were doing yeah. with the the Travelers. cracker crumbs and all the little guys. Uh, of course, uh, tattoos made sense because they're made in the same factory. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really happy about that. Real simple packaging, just the band really shows off, yeah. and uh, they're good, man. I'm thrilled to have them on the market. I've I've been planning on them for a while, and then the FDA rush of last year, I got them out there a little bit, but no one really heard about them. Yeah. And now now that we get finished production, because we were still back ordered for almost a year on uh, the cracker crumbs. Oh yeah, the cracker crumbs like. Those were a mega hit. We finally caught up to production on that, and uh, it, we were able to get the, the ball rolling on the tattoo needles. So it's a good time, man. I mean, it's uh, I'm happy to be uh, focused this year. Yeah. I had to shelve a few few brands. Um, they're not gone. Uh, La Casita, uh, Ambos oh. Mundos, La Riqueza, El Triunfador. They're just on a shelf. I use them for 
for small amounts here and there for bulk items with some of the yeah. bigger accounts. That they'll, are they'll still be kind of available, but they'll, they'll you'll have be, to search for them. You'll have to search for them. Um, i got to keep them in play um, just to protect the trademarks. Yeah. And they're all, all four of them are old Cuban trademarks. And they're all good cigars. Yeah, that's the disappointing part. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, get the focus back and let those sit on the back burner for a little bit. I, I might, you might see a limited run here and there down the road of uh, one size to a certain market. Okay. There'll be fun regionals. Um, a couple of retailers have hit me up about doing store exclusives with them. So we'll see. And then we've, you're smoking the RC. We've, uh, we've definitely got some international customers, uh, yeah. some international viewers, I mean. So can you the talk RC, about that a little? The RC series uh, will be launched at uh, the Dortmund show in, in okay. Germany uh, in September. Um, three sizes. This is a, basically on request from a lot of my international clients looking for a certain style of cigar in certain sizes. Yeah, and those RCs are a nut. And... Um, this particular blend is based off the original RCs we do in Miami, but these will be made in Nicaragua. Okay. And uh, there's three sizes, 52, 54, 56, uh, very similar to uh, another famous 52, 54, 56 brand. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it was basically, it was really, I built it off a request from all of my clients in, yeah. in the international markets. They've been looking something for something to replace that. Yeah. So, all right, man. We'll Thanks see. Thanks for talking. No problem, bro. Really appreciate the time. Ah, thank you for coming by. And Thanks, keep, guys. Keep Thanks watching Cigar Federation.